Well, 2016 has become very unpredictable. I did have a feeling I knew who was going to be in the final. Yeah, Italy versus Spain in the final. And they're meeting in the next round. What can I say? Anyway, the groups, some finished like we knew they would, and some finished pretty strange and unpredictable. Group A finished as we thought it would. But for me, one of the players of the tournament, they're out. Albania's Sudoku, have I got his name right? What a player. His work rate was 100%. He was in both boxes. He defended for Albania. He scored a goal for Albania. Nearly scored a few for Albania. It was a bit of a player on his own. The rest of the players, they weren't the best, but he just stood out. I mean, if he was playing for France, he'll be the talk of the tournament. But hey, he's playing for Albania. For me, he is the talk of the tournament. Albania are now going home. But come on. Watch some of the Albania videos, you big teams in Europe, and give this guy a chance. He is an absolute world-class player. And of course, talking of world-class players playing for small teams, Gareth Bell of Wales. They topped the group, like we all know. And he scored three goals in this tournament already. He's the top scorer, and I've only got to say, well done. Group C... Again, a very weak group. Germany didn't have to do much to qualify. Comfortably got past Ukraine. Ukraine had one chance. And when Germany were cold in action to get it off the line, they did the job both and kicking it off the line. Poland was boring. Nil-nil. Then they beat Northern Ireland. One nil. All over them. But they got the result. Poland finished second. Two 1 0 victories and a 0 0 with Germany. So they're through. But well done to Northern Ireland. They got a good victory against Ukraine. A lot of people say Ukraine were awful against Northern Ireland. Hey, Northern Ireland, a team full of Championship, League One, and even League Two players. Hey, for them, a win of Ukraine is like winning the tournament. So fair play to Northern Ireland. You're also through. Group D. Now, I thought Spain had it. Last minute, 1-1. One, one. Everybody thought Spain were going through. And Croatia, right at the death, win it 2-1. They've topped the group. Spain finished second. And Turkey and the Czech Republic are going home. I go on it, Spain, very entertaining, they look absolute class. Made a few changes. I think they laid off the pace a bit against Croatia. Thought, yeah, we'll take a point, we're through, but they got sucker punched. And that brings us quickly on to Group E. Now I'm not gonna say, well, wow, what a result by the Republic of Ireland. We got lucky because of who Spain are playing in the, in the last 16. I mean, Italy virtually changed the whole squad. They had to. They've already won the group with wins over Belgium 2-0 and Sweden 1-0. The first team defensively, they look absolutely solid. And they look like a team, they can get that one goal. So they can win games 1-0 quite easily. Second was Belgium. Mm, I'm not going to say much. I'm not too happy with the first goal they scored. They scored a public of Ireland. But the other two goals, it was down to Ireland's poor defending. And um, Sweden, they didn't look too bad. They didn't score a goal in the tournament. You know, the Irish are always nice and a very kind team to score Sweden's only goal of the tournament. Kieran Clark with that stupid own goal. But in the, the day, Sweden couldn't score goals, so they are home. And Republic of Ireland looked like they were going out. But right at the death, 
there was Robbie Brady to score the winner and Ireland are in the last 16 and as far as Group F goes who made Austria the dark horses of this tournament they were awful I've had a flog in a dead horse but with Austria God, useless <laughs> Austria v Hungary was definitely becoming the worst game of this tournament. It was boring, and I think on just 70 minutes, well, somewhere around that time, Hungary scored a goal. It livened up, and Hungary got a 2 0 win over Austria quite easy. Portugal against Iceland. Portugal started well, got the lead. Then Iceland, the team that never give up. Eventually pulled it to 1 1. Iceland then drew 1 0 with Hungary. Not the best of games, but it was watchable. Portugal v Austria again. Austria looked awful. Portugal went very good, so hard to watch. It was mainly flick back, see what's happening, but it was a really poor game. One of the unwatchables. And then Hungary defeat Portugal, what a game, 3-3, three, three. a draw that wins it for Hungary, and Portugal just about scraping through, but it looked like they were going out, and then Iceland knocking Austria out, 2-1, they took the lead, and Austria pinned it back for 1-0, and then Iceland of course got the winner. And that's how all the group stages finished very quick because we don't I don't want to drag this on too much because we want to get where it all gets now interesting. Now the top four is of course Switzerland the feed Poland. Switzerland struggling for goals. Poland also struggling for goals. Of course I'm with Switzerland because that's where my mum's from. Oh, can I see Switzerland going through? I really don't know. It matters who can score the goals for either team. And in that, you could see that one going to penalties. Yeah, Switzerland and Poland, that will go to a penalty shootout. Nil-nil looks the outcome on that one. Croatia v Portugal. Uh, I'm going to go for Croatia. Portugal not looking up to much. Croatia, good sign. Now that's what you call a dark horse Croatia. And I think they will beat Portugal. Wales v Northern Ireland. You know, Northern Ireland have got this far. But I would say the way Wales are playing, they should ease past Northern Ireland. I don't mean they're going to hammer them 3 or 4. I think 2-0 to Wales. Gareth Bell will be on the score sheet. And we'll go through. Hungary v Belgium. Can't hold it, don't know. Germany should get past Slovakia. I think this is where Germany will definitely step it up a gear. And, you know, I can't see Slovakia knocking out Germany. I'm going to go for Germany. Italy v Spain. I thought this would be the final. Oh, I haven't got a clue. Don't know. It's anyone's game. This could go either way. So if you Spain, I really do not know. I can't give you a result. France v Ireland. <laughs> I want Ireland to win. Of course I do I want the Republic of Ireland to win. But I've got to admit it's going to be difficult. It's really going to be difficult for Ireland. If France really step it up, they will probably win. But as I said, a tournament that's unpredictable, maybe Ireland could go through. Now, England have got Iceland. Yes, England should go through, no worries, but it matters what team Roy Hodgson plays. And if, you, and it is if, this could go to penalties, because it's England, and England could have another can't score a goal day. And if England go the penalties can we beat Iceland I don't know I really don't win England lose on penalties to Iceland it's a possibility yes I do think if England pick the wrong team maybe Iceland with their fight the way they they just keep on going yes Iceland could beat England 
And yes, I'm quite aware that it could be Ireland v England in the quarterfinals. But then again, it could be France and Iceland in the next round. Of course, Germany will either play Italy or Spain. Wales, who I think will go through, will either play Hungary or Belgium. And Croatia will either play Switzerland and Poland. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. We've got to say, it's been an absolute fantastic tournament. I'm up to 10 minutes, but this is why I love football. You know, that's why I love football. Yo, you know, there's so much... How do I put it? There's so much bad stuff you see. Then football comes along and just blows your mind away. Shows you the beautiful game in all its glory. It's been a fantastic tournament. I can only count that many bad games. Three. Yeah, I should be able to count another three. But remember, I support Switzerland. So, you know, if you support them, I suppose it ain't a bad game. If you're neutral, then it's fall asleep. Anyway, I can't wait till the last 16. It looks exciting. It looks unpredictable. Leave your comments below. You can thumbs it up if you like it or down if you don't. Anyway, enjoy. Come on, I can't wait till the next round. Will all my teams get through? I don't think so. At the best, I think one will definitely get through and two will be going home but hey that's the way it goes anyway thank you for watching and good afternoon